everyone welcome back to my channel and yes i have red hair now if you haven't watched my latest vlog about it don't forget to check out my recent posts so today i'm gonna share my everyday makeup routine because i figured i haven't done a makeup tutorial in quite some time now so let's go back to the roots of this channel and today i'm gonna share a very simple hassle-free makeup that is perfect for underneath your masks so let's start so first off for my base i don't forget to use sunscreen this is from fresh skin lab their fresh tomato sun gel which has an spf 50 pa plus 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 perfect for protection against uva and uvb rays so i make sure to have this amount of sunscreen on my face so that it's really protected so I make sure to be gentle with my face also because you know you're not getting any younger so it's very important to be gentle on the skin so I don't have a tinted sunscreen so I just mix my foundation this is the self coating never be the same liquid foundation in the shade golden sand i just purchased this i think last month no two months ago april and this is one of riza kontawi's favorite bases because according to her it's mask proof and transfer proof so i don't know about that because i haven't tried it like really tried it like i haven't put it to the test yet but so far so good it's working well on my skin and i like it so i mix it with the dear claire's illuminating blemish cream this has spf 40 pa plus 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 i think yeah just two plus i'm mistaken just two plus anyway so this is a gift from my friend aterai so if you're watching aterai and at alia thank you so much so i just put a dollop of that on the back of my hand and then pull out my foundation and just put a tiny drop of that just to have some semblance of coverage because that tinted no that blemish cream doesn't have that much coverage and then apply it all over my face so if you're thinking that my base is a little bit lighter than my skin tone don't worry that's fine this foundation oxidizes a little bit on my skin so it will dry down to a perfect match later on so I'm just gonna stipple that on with a kabuki brush I find myself reaching for brushes rather than a beauty sponge I don't know it's because I think it's less of a hassle for me when it comes to cleaning because when it comes to sponges you need to really cleanse it after every use it's fast convenient and handy so there's that but if you want you can also use your beauty sponge you do you now that I have that base on I usually take out my lip and cheek tint for the day so I usually use this one this is the generation happy skin I believe it's a collaboration with Catherine Bernardo and this is their kiss and bloom water lip and cheek tint I have it in the shade chill which is really really good for morena skin tones it's a deep brick red i think so i i put that much and then blend it with my fingers because sometimes i don't have a lot of time to get ready since we have errands that need to be quick and on the go so i like products like this because it's very easy to use very multifunctional and i just slap it on and i can go out the door if I'm not battling like this much, it takes me around 5 to 10 minutes to get ready. So I also put that, of course, on my lips and spread it with my fingers. 
sometimes I rotate my lip products with the, let me see, the LK Cosmetics Lipstick. I like this one because it's a refillable lipstick. So when I run out of this, I just take this off and then purchase a refill. It's very environment friendly, which is what I like about this one. However, bullet lipsticks like this aren't really mask proof. So sometimes I opt for lip and cheek tints like this. Also, I use my Colorette Lip and Cheek Tint also, but this one is a little bit messy because it's not fully transfer proof. So that's why sometimes I just use this one nonstop. So it's my current favorite lip and cheek tint. And then after that, I do my powder. So I purchased this one not so long ago. It's from Izzy and Co Cosmetics. I believe it's a brand by Alex Gonzaga. And it says here Beauty Made Easy. It's a weightless loose powder which is talc free. And I got it in the illuminating finish. So far so good. I like it. What I like about this powder is it's very weightless and then it's the first first loose powder that I own that has a mirror on it. Very cool, right? And then it has a cute powder puff, which is really, really soft. It has a separate compartment for the powder itself. And it has a mesh net. I like it. It's ingenious. And the fact that I can carry it around with me because it has a compact mirror. Perfect. <laughs> because I don't like the pressed powder formula so I like loose powders like this because it is breathable on the skin it doesn't cause too much oil production as compared to pressed powders so I just pat that around and then I take my squad cosmetics face palette Contour and Blush Palette. This is in the shade Spill the Tea. So the Squad Cosmetics Face Palette is really affordable. I think it's around 200 pesos if I'm not mistaken. And I take the contour shade, which also acts as my bronzer to be honest, <laughs> because I'm lazy. And I just put some lip dimension back to my face. And because of this pandemic, I haven't had time to thread my eyebrows in salons because they're closed. So, you will have to make do with my untamed brows. I use this Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil, but it's a deep brown shade. So, I just actually fill in the tail part of my brows. Because thanks to my jeans, <laughs> I have really, really fluffy eyebrows. I know I'm a little extra, but I like to put a little something-something on my eyes. So I take my Modern Renaissance palette and mix golden ochre and raw sienna. And just use that to define my eyes on the crease. Just like that. And then of course, I curl my lashes. And then I apply my mascara. I'm back to the lash sensational mascara. I ran out of my L'Oreal uh, Lash Paradise mascara. That one is really, really good. Very volumizing, very black. But this one I like for everyday use because it gives you fluttery lashes. I don't usually put mascara on the lower lash just because I find it very, very troublesome to take off <laughs> because this is in a waterproof formula. So I just put it on the top lashes and it makes you look a little bit less glammed up. So there's that. 
and then I think we are down to the last step which is the beauty mist this is from Lux Organics collaboration with Ann Klutz it's a beauty mist <laughs> what more can I say it's lightweight and it sets your makeup so it takes off that powdery finish and I like the spray on this one because it really gives a fine mist it doesn't have a very strong off putting scent which I like as you can see it's new but I am really going through this so it's made to be long lasting hydrating and glowing all of which are true I've tried and tested this product and it really is true to its claims so it hydrates your face it makes your skin glowy because I believe this has galactomyces yes it has that ingredient which retains the moisture and glow to your face and at the same time it keeps your makeup all day long all night so the very 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 last step of my makeup routine is not a makeup step but I usually spray a body mist or fragrance um, when I'm on errands I usually use this one this is Victoria's Secret exotic kiss fragrance mist this is also from my friend at the life and she gave this to me last year um i think it was last august 2019 and i'm almost through with it i like perfumes i like smelling good i also have a stash of aromatherapy in my room so you know <coughs> that is too much anyway I like to be extra with my fragrance, so I spray a lot of sprays. That's just me though. And I like this because it has a clean, fresh scent. Perfect for everyday use. And that's it. I'm out the door. I put my mask on. I don't have a mask here with me right now, so let me get one. Alright. I put my mask on. And then I head out the door. So, I press my makeup sometimes, and I eat, and this makeup is just foolproof for me because it doesn't have that much transfer, and as you can see, my mask is still clean. So, these products work out well for me. I enjoy them very much, and I incorporate them in my everyday makeup routine. So, I hope that this is really helpful for you if you're wondering what kind of products to use so that you will have a mask proof makeup that's my secret so i hope to see you in my next video peace out